We have a very, very cool loan here at the Curry Museum of Art. It is from the Metropolitan Museum in New York, and it came to us as an exchange because our Gosser went uh, to their special exhibition, and that painting then traveled to London. A really great object to have for the Courier because it shows uh, the way an artist treats a very complex narrative. It's called continuous narrative because the same principal character appears several times in one set. In the background, we see Joseph. Here's Giuseppe. He's shown as a small child being sold by a merchant to Potiphar. He's sold into slavery. And he enters the house of Potiphar's house here, his home here. And he is so uh, filled with God and with the Lord that uh, the house prospers. And he reaps those rewards. And while he is bringing money into the house of Potiphar, and basically uh, leading his uh, business, Potiphar's business, Potiphar's wife makes several advances um, to the young uh, Giuseppe, or Joseph. See him here exiting and running away, and it says Moli di Potiphar, the wife of Potiphar. So we have little uh, written inscriptions here to help the reader along um, with the narrative. He runs away, Potiphar's wife hangs onto his cloak, and then goes to, or Potiphar goes to her husband and accuses Joseph of uh, sexual advancement. And Potiphar gets so upset that he throws poor little Giuseppe, Joseph here in jail. We have, see here, a very sad Joseph behind bars. While Joseph is in jail, he uh, takes on this reputation as being a person that has the ability to interpret dreams. And this reputation gets around and eventually it comes to the Pharaoh of Egypt. And the Pharaoh of Egypt is having a difficult time. He's having these dreams of seven fat cows and seven lean cows, and no one can interpret it properly. And he asked Joseph, can you interpret my dream? And it's really cool. It's the Sonia de Foro, the dream of the Pharaoh, and you see the seven cows up here. So, and you have the wheat here too. So Joseph interprets it as you will experience seven years of great harvest and then seven years of famine. What he does is for the seven years of great harvest, he stocks up um, wheat, cattle, and food and such so that they can make it through the seven years, the seven lean years. Joseph is treated, uh, as you can see here in the central figure, he becomes very important to the Pharaoh. They're in the lean years. Um, Joseph's original family, before he was sold into slavery, his family comes to Egypt hoping to buy grain because they're suffering the same sort of famine. And Joseph uh, recognizes his brothers, but they don't recognize him. So Joseph works out this plan uh, to be reunited with his family, and the rest of his family shows up on the second attempt to buy grain, and here you see Joseph being returned to his father, Jacob. So it's a really complex story told. What's special about it is that this artist is able to capture incredibly uh, complex story in a very simple, beautiful uh, pictorial cycle. And as we know in the Renaissance, most of the uh, populace was not literate. So they used images to, as didactic purposes or mnemonic devices, to remember biblical verses or to learn from uh, the biblical text. And this is one of the methods using pictorial images.